Nam Mô Sakya Muni Buddha Dear Venerable Sangha, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to join us in this weekly Buddhist newsreel on Phật Sự online channel. Hereafter, seven major headlines of Buddhist activities of the week. Memorial ritual at Martyrm Cemetery on occasion of July 27th, Invalid and Mutual Day. Bình Thuận, dignitaries from Sano Vietnam Buddhist Sangha sharing at the Abbott training course. Ho Chi Minh City, Mendicant Sec opens the 8th Monks and Nun Dharma Virtue training course. Provincial Buddhist Board of Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City and Đồng Nai go on with visiting the retreat points. Kim Yang, Buddhism support of 2.2 billion Vietnam Dong at variety show to raise funds for people in poverty. Sung Duc Retreat Point in Thủ Đức City holds an AMS offering ceremony for Sangha members in Buddha calendar. 2567 Solar Calendar 2023 Vietnam Buddhist University in Ho Chi Minh City organizes entrance exam for Bachelors of Buddhism Study Course 18. The following are the news in details. In the spirit of gratitude and thankfulness on the occasion of 76th anniversary of Invalid and Martyrs Day on July 27th, local government leaders coordinated with the provincial Buddhist boards of provinces and cities to visit the Martyr Cemetery in the area for offering incense in memory of the fallen soldiers who died in the wars for national independence. On the afternoon of July 26, leaders of Kantum provincial authorities in collaboration with the Reverend Buddhist monks of the Provincial Buddhist Boards, respectfully offer flowers and incense at the main monument area of Kantum Provincial Martyr Cemetery, showing the virtue of drinking the water remember its source. In addition to visiting, encouraging and giving gifts to policy beneficiaries and people with meritorious services to the revolution in the whole province, these activities are meant to educate the young generation about patriotic traditions and gratitude for the merits of patriarchal generations who have sacrificed for national independence and freedom. In the afternoon of the same day, Most Venerable Thich Minh Thinh, Senior Vice Chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Council, Vice Head of the Dharma Evangelism Section, Head of Long An Provincial Buddhist Board, together with venerables and local authorities, held a memorial ceremony for martyrs at the Martyr Cemetery in Long An Province. The congregation performed the commemoration ceremony and listened to the memorial speech of the Most Venerable Thich Minh Thinh, with respect and gratitude to the heroic spirits of the fallen heroes and martyrs for the national peace, independence and freedom. The Martyr Cemetery in Long An Province currently accommodates roughly 4,000 martyrs' graves. On this occasion, Most Venerable Thich Minh Thinh gave 100 gifts to policy beneficiaries in the province. Also in July 26, Most Venerable Director Thich Thanh Quy, the Administration Council, and monks of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in Hanoi came to offer incense at the Martyr Cemetery in Ding Yu Commune, Sok Sheng District, Hanoi City. The university's roof bears the words, eternal gratitude to heroes and martyrs. After a minute of meditation, the whole mass went to each martyr's grave, in turn to burn incense, pay tribute to generations of ancestors, and vowed to promote the spirit of patriotism, national adherence, and companionship with the people. The Most Venerable and the Congregation single-mindedly recited the Heart Sutra to pray for the prosperity of the country, the Sangha, and the spirits of the heroes and martyrs who had lost their lives to wander in the fairy heavens. Earlier, on the afternoon of July 24, the Nghe An Provincial Buddhist Board coordinated with the People's Committee of Nghe Lok District to hold a requiem for prayers and light candles to pay tribute to heroes and martyrs at the Martyr Cemetery in Nghe Lộc District, Nghe An Province. In his memorial speech, Most Venerable Thich Tho Lạc, 
head of the Central Cultural Board of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, standing vice of the standing section of the Provincial Buddhist Board, expressed his deep gratitude for the devotions and sacrifice of the martyrs, praying for the fallen heroes rest in peace. Thousands of candles, thousands of flowers, and thousands of incense sticks were offered by Buddhists and people across the area to the martyrs' graves. On this occasion, the organizing board also gave gifts to policy beneficiaries and people with meritorious services in Ngilok district. At the training course of ecclesiastical knowledge and profession of the Abbot Binh Thuong Provincial Buddhist Board, the leaders of the Central Vietnam Buddhist Sangha and the Central Office II lectured on many useful and practical topics on the afternoon of July 25, 2023. Most venerable Thich Lệ Trang, prominent member of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, head of the ceremonial ritual session, head of Ho Chi Minh City Buddhist Board, shared the homily, Buddhist rituals and ordination religious performances. Most venerable introduced to the congregation the concept of ritual and the importance of studying Buddhist rituals to gain an overview and apply rituals with opinion in life and when organizing solemn, national ceremonies or international events. The most venerable lecture on the rituals of the forum and the important role of the mass lady reception section. Next, Venerable Thich Phuc Nguyen, Vice General Secretary of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Council, Chief of Office II of the Central Sangha also presented the 12 articles in the resolution of the 9th National Buddhist Congress and the direction of Buddhist activities for the 2022-2027 tenure of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. The Venerable also shared in depth about improving the management and leadership capacity of the monks and nuns. Responding to the invitation of the organizing board, Most Venerable Thich Huệ Thông, Vice Chairman of the Legality Section, shared about the Seventh Amendment of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Charter to the monks and nuns in the province on the morning of the 26th of July, 2023. Most Venerable highlighted the role and responsibility of an abbot and the supplements for the grassroots level of abbeys and viharas to meet practical demands. The responsibility of the head of the vihara is the abbot who is responsible before the sangha at all levels and the state law for religious activities at the pagodas. On the morning of the same day, Venerable Thich Minh Nhân, member of the Secretariat of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Parochial Council, Vice Chief of Office II of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, standing vice head of the Information and Communication Section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, reported on the topic of digital transformation in Buddhism and rules on sermons. The Venerable emphasized that digital transformation is an invaluable opportunity and makes it easier to spread Buddhism, as well as to help Buddhist organization manage information, organize activities, and interact with lady community in a more efficient manner. However, monks and nuns need to use technology mindfully in a righteous way. At the closing ceremony on the morning of the 27th of July, Most Venerable Thich Huệ Chi, Vice Chairman of the Buddhist Council, Deputy Head of the Sangha Committee of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, delivered Dharma words on the merits of the Head of the Buddhist Board and the Venerables who established the Abba training course. The Most Venerable added the words of the late elder Most Venerable Thich Chi Thich suggested to the Chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha on the path to do Buddhist work. Do it when it's favorable. But if it scans the condition, you will skillfully overcome it. When you work, bring joy and equanimity to your heart. And if you forgive, the Buddha's work will be completed. On the morning of July 25th, the opening ceremony of the 8th Monk and Nun Dharma Virtue Training Course of the Medican Sect took place solemnly at Minh Đăng Quang Dharma Monastery, Ho Chi Minh City. The 8th Dharma Virtue Training Course was attended by 107 practitioners. The organizing committee also invited the Venerables to the Board of Evidence, the Board of Officials, and the Board of Management to direct and guide the retreat. After the ceremony, Venerable Thich Yak Hoang, Head of the Study Administration, read the rules and timetables to remind and encourage practitioners to pay attention and practice diligently so that the retreat course could bring about the good result. The course takes place in 10 days 
from July 24 to August 3 with topics of Rose and Mannequin Ritual, History of Congregations and Honorific Masters, Lessons and Salience of the Practice of Monastic Training, and other necessary topics. On behalf of practitioners attending the retreat course, novice monk Thit Dang Ben vowed to strive to practice persistently to be worthy of following in the footsteps of the religious hierarchy to benefit himself and others. In his bestowing words, Most Venerable Thit Yak Toang, Vice Chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Saint Girl Paroko Council, Head of the Standing Board of the Mannequin Sect, expressed his joy at seeing the next generation of monks and nuns studying and working in service of the sect, guiding the junior to grow up in accordance with the Buddhist jurisprudence, in accordance with the principles of the patriarchal master. In particular, the young monks and nuns who have just entered the religion are found diligent, self-disciplined, and willing to attend the fostering course to foster virtue, reduce greed, hatred, and delusion while living a meaningful life. The three months of rainy season are the time when monks and nuns gather in retreat points for practice, with a concentration on practicing, keeping the body and mind poor, and cultivating the virtue, concentration, wisdom, in order to encourage the monks and nun practitioners in the retreat confinement, the provincial Buddhist boards of the provinces and cities organize a delegation to visit the retreat point in the area. The following is the recorded in Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, and Dong Nai. In the past three days from the 20th to the 23rd of July, Most Venerable Thich Bảo Nghiêm, Vice Chairman of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Parochial Council, Head of the Dharma Inventualism Section, Head of Hanoi Provincial Buddhist Board, Head of the Vesa Organizing Board, and the Delegation of the Religious Affairs Committee, the Traffic Warden Office, Hanoi City Police, visited retreat points throughout Hanoi. The delegation visited retreat points at Khe Hội Pagoda, Thường Tiên District, Viên Minh Pagoda, Phú Xuyên District, Thuần Nghệ Pagoda, Sơn Tây Thảo, Thầy Pagoda, Quốc Oai District, the Cham Gian Pagoda, Trường Mỹ District, and Nhạc Phúc Pagoda, Hoài Đức District, to popularize the charter of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, popularize the law on belief and religion, and the provisions of the law related to the management of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha religion, and propagate and mobilize monks and nuns to participate in ensuring traffic order and safety. In Ho Chi Minh City, Venerable Thich Quang Thanh, a member of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Council, Senior Vice Chairman of the Provincial Buddhist Board, and Head of the City's Buddhist Education Board, led the delegation to visit seven retreat points located in the city on the 24th of July, 2023. The delegation visited retreat points at Pháp Thành Pagoda and Zida Pagoda, Gu Chi District, Huang Pháp Pagoda and Ngoc Điểm Vahara, Hoc Môn District, Vĩnh Phước Pagoda and Quảng Đức Pagoda, District 12, and Huỳnh Kim Pagoda, Gò Vấp District. At the Vesa Settlements, Venerable Thích Quang Thanh and Most Venerable Thích Hiền Đức inquired and encouraged the practitioners, and at the same time, they noted and praised the training curriculum prescribed from monk and nuns by the study board of the retreat point. The delegation also passed over the financial resources, made offerings, and took souvenir photos with practitioners of the seven retreat points. In Đồng Nai Province, on the morning of the 24th of July, Most Venerable Thich Ngu Cheng, Secretary Member of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha Council, Standing Vice Head of the Standing Unit of Đồng Nai Provincial Buddhist Board, and the delegation visited, encouraged devotion, and made offerings to the Buddhist monasteries of Tỉnh Hội Pagoda, the exact patriarchal temple, Guanam Monastery Patriarchal Temple, and Ngọc Uyên Vahara. Most Venerable Thích Bụ Chang visited and delivered some Dharma talks to encourage the devotion of meditators to settle down and try to practice diligently for three months to gain many achievements and strengthen their internal strength to continue the Dharma evangelism spreading. Towards the 76th anniversary of Invalids and Martyrs Day on July 27, the District Party Committee, People's Committee of Chau Than District, Kinh Yang Province, organized a variety show night with the theme Chau Than, Our Homeland, at the university, Kinh Yang, Chau Than District, to raise funds to implement social security in the district. 
the music variety show night attracted the contributions of businesses, companies, and sponsors, and especially the contribution of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha, as well as the mobilization of the Central Board of Social Charity Affairs of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha across the country, with over 6 billion Vietnam dong as total amount of support, in which the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha donated over 2 billion Vietnam dong. Speaking at the variety show night, Venerable Thit Phuc Nguyen said, Châu Thân is one of the districts with a large number of ethnic minorities. Understanding that difficulty, the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha and the Central Charity and Social Affairs Section of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha have surveyed and mobilized to work with local authorities to implement the program. On this occasion, the Venerable expressed his gratitude to the honorifics of the Charity and Social Affairs Section, the benefactors and the sponsors for their support. Praying for the blessings of the three jewels to be stowed with auspicious looks, the musical variety show night ended with the joy of the honorifics, local authorities, and the entire congregation. On the morning of July 23, 2023, at the retreat point in Sum Đức Pagoda, Thổ Đức City, an AMS offering ceremony was held with nearly 40 monks and nuns practitioners in the retreat point and Buddhists across the country to attend. The Buddhist ladies stood neatly in rows and headed toward the nuns to offer the items that had been prepared in advance with the desire to be admitted to a relationship with the three jewels. Accordingly, in order to create favorable conditions for Buddhists to return to the retreat point to have the opportunity to sow a predestined relationship, the Board of Education held an alms offering ceremony for Sangha members, which was one of the most important practice rituals that the Buddha instructed his disciples to do every day during the years he was alive. At the ceremony, Master Nen Thich Nguyen Mỹ Thuận, Abbot of Sung Đức Pagoda, shared the important meaning of the alms offering ceremony. Following the steps of meditation and alms offering ceremony, there is the ceremony of reciting the Medicine Buddha Sutra to repay the gratitude to parents and ancestors. Buddhists and guests continue to offer their offerings respectfully in the warm atmosphere. It is known that, during three months of Vesa, Sung Duk Pagoda organized an alms offering ceremony once a month to sow a predestined condition for Buddhists to increase their blessings through making offerings to confined practitioners. On the morning of July 23, 2023, the Admissions Council of Vietnam Buddhist University in Ho Chi Minh City officially held the entrance exam for the Bachelor's Degree in Buddhism, Course 18, 2023, at Campus 2, Bình Chánh District, Ho Chi Minh City. Exactly at 7 a.m. in the exam rooms, the variables began to take attendance, unsealing the envelopes of the exam questions in front of all the candidates, distributed the exam questions, and followed the rules of the exam. The honorifics in the admission council came to check the examination process and the working on the excitement performed by the candidates in each examination room. Candidates take the exam in the morning and afternoon. The first subject is Buddhism and the second is a foreign language subject, including English and ancient Chinese characters. In the afternoon, the candidates take the Vietnamese literature exam. There were 310 contestants, including 100 monks and 210 nuns from 31 provinces and cities across the country. After passing the exam, the monks and nuns will stay in residence and learn about precepts, laws, and Buddhist teachings to become a good priest, a good citizen, and an exemplary missionary of Vietnamese Buddhism. Venerable monks and nuns, Buddhist ladies and gentlemen, the last news has signed off this weekly newsreel. Thank you for your attention and following. Goodbye and see you in next program on PSO TV channel. Namo Sakya Muni Buddha.